Here are some things I'm going to be working on in the near future. This is a 1938 Fairbanks Morse radio, which I got last week. It originally would have used a vibrator power supply with a synchronous vibrator that was self-rectifying. Someone modified it with a, a fairly small power transformer and a 5V4 rectifier tube. And it's had some repairs through its life. I'd like to try and improve this setup for the dial lamps. There's the cabinet for it. Here's a Westinghouse AM FM radio that I got at an estate sale. And I've actually got one of these out in the barn that I got about 10 years ago and I never got it to, to work. I think that one might have bad IF cans. So um, this I'm sure is going to need some caps and then we'll see if we've got uh, problems with the IF transformers. Here is a, uh, the Zenith, or not Zenith, the Sylvania color TV chassis. I've now got all the electrolytic capacitors from Mauser to rebuild this. So that's something I'm, I'm going to be working on. Here's a Hammond uh, M100 series amp uh, electronics chassis. This one is from mine. And I've also got South JK's uh, that I need to work on as well. This is South JK's here. And there's some things. Here's a Halicrafters radio. It's either a Halicrafters or a Hammerlund. I can't remember which one it is. But uh, this, I haven't haven't really gotten started on this one other than replacing or repairing that, that dial. So here's, I'd like to get this Fairbanks Morse radio working. There's the GE radio that I put the new speaker in it. Then I also got a Curtis Mathis uh, radio phono console. I've got it standing up on its side here. This this is really in perfect shape. It's kind of hard to see all of it here. It's got a Calero changer in it. Separate AM and FM tuners and a tuning eye. What I want to try to do is to put it in place of this unit here, maybe put this uh, TV phono unit into another room. The TV has a problem with the picture tube, so I'm going to put the CRT tester on it. But I'm eventually going to put this uh, Curtis Mathis unit here in place of this. And what I like about Curtis Mathis is that they often usually have uh, the controls and stuff in the front. They don't have lids that you lift up, so you can put more stuff up on top of them and still be able to use them. Here's some RCA CTC 68 chassis that I got from Matt S78MN. I'm going to use these to help repair the Lyceum TV, which is out in the barn. It's got a high voltage problem. And uh, I was able to get all the parts from two different CTC 68s. So that's something I want to start on, get the, uh, the Lyceum TV repaired. And I've also got two other CTC-68s, which are consoles. So I'll have a supply of spare parts for them. Here's a Sony TV. And I still haven't found a good place to put this. It still even has its price tag on it. I got it for half price. I got it for 10 bucks. But I tried it out and it seemed to it seemed to light up the screen pretty good, so it ought to have a good picture. And just here's a box of miscellaneous stuff I got. I got these metallic uh, things here, but also a bunch of tubes and heat sinks and stuff. I got all the paperwork that came with the Curtis Mathis. This is the Calero stuff. Calero Conquest. Made in England. This was on the on there too. I also got the Curtis Mathis uh, manual 
which is in here, which was uh, helpful because it has a schematic and parts list in it. So I think I've got all the caps I need to, rep to repair it. But this was when Curtis Mathis was still a fairly high quality unit. And it comes, it came with the service manual and the advertisement. But here's the, here's the schematic. And we can take a look now at the uh, inside of it. It's got cooling fins on the power transformer, four 6BQ5 output tubes, and a 5U4 rectifier. I'm going to take this out of here. I don't know, I'd kind of like to start on this first, but I've got some of those other things in there, so it's always just uh, <laughs> always too much to do and never enough time, but, but I'll, I'll get to it eventually. So I may just start with this Westinghouse radio because it's the simplest and get it working. I think that's just about everything new. I got this lamp too. I uh, hooked it up with a vacuum cleaner cord. I managed to find a vacuum cleaner cord in the dumpster, which is pretty rare. Usually those cords just get pillaged by copper scrappers, but I got to it before the scrappers did and I was able to actually use it as an electrical cord. So, I can turn it on here. And it's got a, it's got a switch right here. So there's some of the new things that uh, I'll be working on here in the near future. Oh, one more thing. I got this Sansui tuner at the thrift store. It's a TU7700 and it really does work good. I'll, I'll do a demonstration of it sometime. But it's really, really got good sensitivity. It really looks like it's high quality unit. And I guess that's, I don't really see anything else here that's new. So. So that's it for, for now.